Hello everybody, this is quite an impromptu video. Um, I didn't plan on filming today at all. Um, I was just about to make a nice Sunday lunch for me and Jacob and then suddenly my phone vibrated and I had a massive, an, a message, a massive vacation I was gonna say. A notification from Discord from TNSFan123XO who said, sorry to at you Alicia, but thought you might want to see this. And what was it? It was a link to Boat Rocker's page. Um, who are the like production company for the next step and they have a season 9 trailer on there so I'm guessing this is going to be the trailer that it's released either soon there's not much else I can premise this video with other than we're just going to watch this trailer see what is happening um, and then share our thoughts so before we watch um, obviously season 9 we just finished nationals so we'd expect that they're going to be going to internationals. That is my expectation. So this trailer might have something about internationals in. Obviously there's always highs and lows, so there's probably going to be some drama related to going to internationals. I reckon they're going to switch up the team by either doing, is it the challenge for nationals? Yes, they did the challenge in season eight. Um, so they'll switch up the team again in some way, whether it be because a troopers want to leave and then they need to find some people or they want to get the best possible team so they try and get other people in. Oh, well, that's a lot better, isn't it? Okay, so they're going to be going to internationals. Um, there's obviously going to be drama. They're going to switch up the team. I'm going to say we're losing Cleo, we're losing Jude, we're losing Daisy, Dylan. There is also a new picture that I have seen, and it includes Emily Roman, who we all theorise as being in the new series. Um, that's... No, Kate Roman. It includes Kate Roman, who is Emily Roman's sister, who played Presley. So either Presley's sister is going to be on the new team, or just a new character who happens to be Emily Roman's sister in real life. Yeah, I don't really have any more expectations other than that. I'm, I'm gonna say that maybe Grace will be on A Troop, but let's just watch it and see. Okay, right, first frame already. A Troop dance to start the season as tradition. Pete is not there. So Dylan and Pete, there's gonna be a plot as to why they are not there in that first episode. I finally feel like I'm where I belong. I have what it takes to be an international champion. Oh, okay, camera angles. The, the, the movement of the camera was, we've not seen that before. And it was like, Evie was towards the camera. Like she knew the camera was there. There was no fourth wall. There is, yeah, there's no fourth wall. She knows the camera's there. And in this one, we can see like the light at the top, which looks more like film set -y rather than dance studio-y. So the vibe is different. Stay away from drama. And oh, Jude looks so cute. <laughs> I love, I'm going to be sad when Jude goes. Winning international. That's 18 seconds of this trailer and we've only seen this one dance as well. It's quite a lot. And I feel like this isn't our usual standard of trailer. This seems to me like, okay, we need a trailer put together to kind of advertise what we are as the next step and try and get some funding or something like that. You know, just like a put together thing real quick. I don't know. Kenzie, can you help Ultra Elite? Okay. Here she is, Kate Roman, in the same uniform as Grace. So Kate is obviously an ultra elite dancer. I can't remember if she was in season eight dancing with the team because obviously I wasn't looking out for her and I haven't done my research. Um, so yeah, I'd also like to give credit to the people that are still like constantly scouring the web for info because I can't do that. I don't have time. They've, they are the heroes, the unsung heroes of the TNS community. Um, but here she is, Kate Roman with Grace. I love Izzy's outfit. I think theirs is my favourite. I like Jude's hair as well. And Kenzie's, obviously. But I feel like Kenzie doesn't look like she's there for a dance class. She looks like she's there, like, and then about to go out afterwards. Also, this sound quality doesn't sound like its usual quality. It sounds like just something that's been recorded. Do you know what I mean? It's just not my usual standard of TNS trailer. It's odd. Then we've got a Kenzie and Pete duet, very cute. So Pete is obviously in the season and we've worked out that he's like, what, number three on the call sheet, which means he's very pivotal to the season and he's at least got a lot of screen time. So I don't know why he's not in that first dance. Um, oh, also I found out that there's 22 episodes in this season compared to our usual average of 30. 22 is not a lot. So whether budgets have been cut or they just know what they need to get from this season and they're just gonna get straight to the point and either wrap up TNS or just have it be a short season. I don't know. Um, but also, 
because it's going to be released in spring and we are very nearly in spring i said march i reckon it's going to be march it's now feb i don't think we're going to get an off season i don't know i just feel like we're not getting one which is a shame because i do like them they kind of warm us all up a little bit and get us back into the next step but yeah i don't think we're gonna get one internationals oh see even that angle like the camera isn't watching them the camera is positioned like ready to film a dance i don't know what this vibe is for season nine i'm intrigued i don't hate it it's just different you'll be paired with the sister studio from another part of the world yes we are back with swapping um countries like how amanda went to sweden and ella came to the next step so are we gonna get another like you know when ella stole the choreo from riley are we gonna get another like drama filled exchange student i'd love that or i just love it if for some reason they then choose to join the next step or they somehow know them because the next step has a lot of hype now they're not at the level they were in season three like they've been on tv they've got like they've been competing for years so i feel like there's a lot more hype to the next step than there was back in season three when they first went to internationals this is their second time going and obviously they won internationals in season three so they're internationals winners Everyone's going to be wanting to go to their team. OMG, okay. Kenzie in this gold unitard type thing and everyone else in big puffer jackets that are giving Ben Williams at the Brits vibes. Um, but the dance with the curly hair is there. So is Emily Roman. She's at the back. So that's they're definitely on A troop. I don't think I like the camera angles now purely because Kenzie's smiling at the camera. I don't think I'm going to like it. I'm an open-minded gal. I'll try anything. Oh, and then we go back to our normal camera angles. Okay, and then this lovely dancer in Studio One um, with all their bags in the corner. So is this the international exchange student? I also haven't been listening to Kenzie because I'm pausing on every free freeze frame, so I'll have to go back and... I want auditions. <gasps> Winifred. Winnie is back, everybody. Thank goodness, because Winnie's... Please, season nine, let's give Winnie something. Her plan is to make sure the next step doesn't make it to internationals. Oh, I've just realized Grace says that their plan is so the next step doesn't go to internationals. So she basically is an Amanda. She's gonna sabotage them from the inside out by having Kenzie help them and it backfiring, I'm guessing. So drama there. You will be paired with the sister studio from another part of the world and will compete with them in a series of competitions for the internationals trophy. Right so the next step is going to pair with an internationals country and there'll be lots of different challenges to eventually find out who is the internationals winner. The same as internationals in season three right how they did the blindfolded one they did the matchy matchy one where they had one person from each um country and then they had the small you know, they had the round with no music that they hadn't heard before. Is that what they mean? Or do they mean they've got to do challenges before they even get there? I need to do everything I can to prove I deserve my spot. Oh, that was odd audio because I could hear Izzy having a conversation, but over the top was Ethan. Also, I do like the vibe of this diner. It's, it's cool. I like it. I'm interested to know what the name will be. It's my call. It's your bad call. Mm. I like what Jet said then, but said it with the wrong intonation in my directorial opinion it's my call it's your bad call like em emphasize that was a terrible accent i'm sorry um emphasize the bad not the call but why is kenzie in the office again i have not seen my man nick either yet <laughs> please <laughs> please nick are you doing your job this season do you know who we also haven't seen yet rochelle and i said i don't think rochelle is gonna be in the season i think she'll just be like how michelle sometimes appears I, I think that is all Rochelle will do. Just appear. And I, I am for it. Like, yes. There's not a dancer like Ethan, realistically. I think the last one was Tiffany, maybe. Just like, with that extra bit of sass to dancing. But Ethan just is Ethan. So I, I would love for Ethan to get, like, soloist at internationals. Because I know there's no male or female. It's just the soloist. So I'd love for Ethan to get it. Why not? I'm totally ready for this. Right, and we've got auditions. Good. And, right, so that dancer there, Adele. I don't know if that was their real name or character name. But we had that random cast introducing video and then got no others. So I'm guessing 
they will be on A Troop. I, I really don't know what's going on on the social side of TNS, to be honest with you. Like, they could be doing so much. All right, the man's back. Who's he talking to? We've got Nick and Kenzie. It's Eldon. I saw it. I saw it. I saw his, like, a fraction of his face. I know Eldon's face. That is Eldon. Yay! So I'm guessing Eldon's going to choreograph for the auditions in season nine, and then Kenzie and Nick will pick with him the A troop. Oh! Grace in this purple fit. Can I be Grace in this purple fit? Um, and also, I'm, I don't know this dance from the back and I don't know the dance from the mirror. So are Ultra Ellie going to maybe share the next step studio? You know how Acro Nation um, rented Studio One? Maybe they'll do that. And then it's like, you've got these two teams going to internationals and fight. Well, then they're not going, are they? No, they're not going to internationals because they didn't win nationals. Then they're trying to take down the next step from this little studio they're renting and then they'll do the auditions as well and try and get onto their team. I'm guessing that's maybe what could happen. But yeah, Grace and the hair. Grace is in her Grace era. OMG, Anthony is tears. To tear this team apart piece by piece. Was that Eldon dancing then though in the green? Yes, that is Alden. But I'm guessing Alden's gonna come in, they're gonna be like, I don't know who Alden is, sorry. And he'll be like, I have been here every year, every season, and this is what I can do. I like Kenzie's jacket as well. She's looking more like a dancer in that, less like she's going to the mall. And Grace again, saying she's gonna take down the next step piece by piece for whatever reason, <laughs> because they need a villain. I really need your help. Who you calling, Nick? So. A lot to unpack there. It's very exciting, but very different as well. It feels different. Um, and I don't know how to feel about it. I'm just gonna be open-minded, the same as I am for every season, but it seems like it's gonna be filmed quite differently. We didn't see any talking heads there. I mean, we heard like voiceovers that would work in talking heads, like when Grace says, I'm gonna turn this team apart piece by piece, but we didn't see any. Do we usually? That's different, if so. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I've said a few of my theories, but I don't really have much to go on. I think it's gonna be pretty much a fresh start and let's just see where it takes us. Also, I'm gonna say that that's a trailer one because it's 9A, because obviously there was nothing of internationals in there, unless they never make it. But yeah, that's gonna be for the first half of the season. I'm gonna put money on it. And I still would like to see though, a white wall trailer, a dance trailer, a proper trailer with like a bit more oomph to it. That to me is the trailer they'd show in a business meeting. Like this is what we're working on for season nine. And then you'd create another one for fans. I don't know though, I, don't, I cannot pinpoint what is missing, but something is. May, if you understand what I mean, let me know, please. Um, but yeah, I'm just really, really excited. We love TNS um, and it'd be nice to have it back in our lives. If anything else does get released, and obviously when the episodes are released, I will be reacting to every single one. Um, make sure you subscribe so that you will see my videos and you can join the community. We talk about every episode in the comments. Uh, leave this video a like as well if you did enjoy it so I'll see you all later make sure you comment I want to have a discussion about this I will also set this video to a premiere so right now everybody say hello in the live chat do it now hello hi hi bonjour say hello it's so cute I love watching live chat back in a premiere um, just knowing that everyone's watching at the same time it's lovely look at all those hellos coming in I love it okay I'll see you later, everybody. Bye.